Well, mental health affects everyone, but not everyone has the same access to services for help. WDRB's Grace Haba shares the effort to change that in minority communities. Born and raised on the west side. I live in 40212 and I love it. I love my neighborhood. I love my community. Jonathan White says he's always tried to be a voice for the people. I come to understand uh, poverty and the influence of that. And it's why he decided to become a therapist in the first place. He now works with Norton Healthcare, helping break down mental health barriers in minority communities. I had a 70 year old patient come into my office and he was surprised that I was black and he was looking around and he says I've never seen a black person in the, the front seat before. One of those he works with is Carrie Goff. And I always felt like I could battle through storms on my own and I kind of finally realized that the things that I was doing when working. The 56 year old says because nobody around him talked about mental health much, he thought that because he was black, he couldn't experience suicidal thoughts. But now he says he understands mental health impacts everyone. My brother, I was talking to him. He straight up told me, he's like, he was like, gee, there's excuses and there's reasons. He said, I think you're giving a bunch of excuses to die and you have plenty of reasons to live. Together, Goff and White wow. say they will continue to let others know help is out there and that it's okay to need it. We have to, you know, kind of tear down some of these generational, I would say, curses, uh, you know, where a man shouldn't cry, man shouldn't back down from another man, man should handle his own things. I have patients that come to me saying, you know, I just deal with the stuff that normal black people do. And when I ask for an explanation, oh, you know, there's gun violence. I've seen X amount of people get shot. My mom did this. My father's in jail. Well, those aren't necessarily normal experiences. So changing that idea of what's normalcy. With photojournalist Dominic Furman, Grace Haba, WDRB News. Anyone experience a, experiencing a mental health crisis can call the National Suicide Lifeline at any time by dialing 988.